good. You sound like you're doing good. Happy to be in church this morning. In our, our family, we had a pretty crazy weekend at a whole bunch of different parties and events and stuff we were running around doing. And, uh, I'm fine, but the kids get wore out by the end of the weekend. And last night, my, my, my five-year-old daughter, she was just at that point. Parents, you know the point. You know what I'm talking about? She's trying to go to bed, and she's just, she's crying about everything. I don't know where Bun Bun is. Bun Bun's a small stuffed animal. Looks like he went through a wood chipper. She sleeps with it. It's just... <laughs> Um, I'm like, no problem, we'll get Bun Bun. Bun Bun's on the couch. Come back upstairs, bring her Bun Bun. And mom goes to her bed, bedtime routine. I kind of take over and she's crying again. I'm back in the bedroom. I'm like, what? What's going on? So, are you okay? She's like, Dad, you don't understand, okay? My straw is broken. I open the water bottle, attach the straw. So I'm like, oh, thanks so much. She lays back down. In this last parents, you know, wait, maybe two, three minutes, right? Go back to the other room, and we play this dance where the light's too bright. She's got to use the bathroom again. She wants to tell me something. Can I tell you something? I walk in, and she tells me the same thing to her. We play this game for a while until she finally falls asleep. But she has all of these things that are bothering her, just stacking up. The light's bright. My door's too far open. I close the door a little bit. The straw's broken. I need this fixed, bun bun and all. Just, it's for her, it's overwhelming. I walk back up the hallway and I'm just kind of, I'm just, I'm giggling, right? I'm like, man, this stuff is easy. Like, it's easy for me. I fixed this. I feel like a hero. Snap that straw back in. I'm like, yes! <laughs> Dad to the rescue. I tell you that story because if you're anything like me, I think we do the same thing to God. We have all these things that seem like they're just consuming us, taking over all, we can't even get our brains passed and we're sitting there in this pile of, this, this should be different, that should be different. I wish this hadn't happened and I'm hurt by this and this should, and Pastor Kim should really be being nicer to me. Hypothetically, not specifically, I'm just saying maybe somebody feels that. And I, can I just tell you that God is in heaven and he's saying, just, just bring it to me because this, this is easy for me. Come on, I can, I can fix this. I love 1 Peter 5, 7. It's such a great verse. This is to cast all your cares on Him because He cares for us. And, and maybe right now you, you feel like you came in with all this stress, all this emotion, everything you've carried. You may have walked in with this. Come on, but you don't have to walk out the same way. You can leave it in this room. Amen, church? Come on, you can leave it in this place. Let's sing this song together. God, you bring us peace. Bring it all to us, the storm surrounding me. At your name, stand, call the seas to stand, raging seas be still everywhere. At your name, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness. Jesus, Jesus, 
comfort and peace. We cast our cares on you because you care for us. You love us. It's easy for you. So God, we pray even in the midst of hardship that you would give us peace. You'd give us comfort. That we would build our life and our trust in one location. God, for grace to trust you more every day of our life. Pursue you alone. Speak to our hearts this morning, Father, through your word. We want to be changed. It's in the strong name of your son, Jesus. Come on, in one loud FCF voice, we all said...